Hi, it's Sharon here, welcoming you to the Foss Gallery and to the start of this beautiful show for artist Lydia Corbett, also known as Sylvette David, Picasso's famous muse. The exhibition is titled The Dance of Life and continues right through till Saturday the 29th of April. Do hope you can pop in to see this, but in the meantime, we've made this virtual tour for you to enjoy. Back in the day when I was starting my apprenticeship here at the Foss Gallery, tucked away in the corner of the room was a small portfolio bulging with the exquisite watercolours by artist Lydia Corbett. They proved understandably popular and we simply sold them just as they were, unframed. Introduced by the artist Marisha Donaldson, who was a friend of Lydia's in the south of France, and the wife of the eminent Scottish artist David Donaldson. It was an introduction that proved very successful and is still ongoing today, over 25 years later. This exhibition brings together significant examples of paintings from many stages of the artist's life. The Sylvette self-portraits include many of her strongest works of art. Referring back to 1954 and her time spent with Picasso in Valerousse, recalling an earlier self that is still very much part of her life. The portraits have a gaze, always, somewhere elsewhere. They are not a borrowing of Picasso's motives because she was the muse. Instead, they are a complement to Picasso's paintings made of Sylvet and through them, their precious dialogue continues. Corbett's failing eyesight has meant that inner vision has become the guiding light and force behind her work. There is the art of contemplation and painterly concentration. She has assimilated the subtlety of observation from the memory of visual sensation and embraced the changing aspects of light and the beauty of strong colour. The colour is spontaneous, with a brightness and clarity to it. I love the use of black, white, grey, and the gold, it makes it come alive. In her joyous watercolours, you can see her love for flowers, tablecloths, family, mothers and children, cats and dogs, the sea, and in the oils are portraits of people people playing music, the cockerel in the early morning and the birds outside her window. There is such a feeling of happiness to it all. You can see Lydia likes to make people, well, all of us happy. It is beautifully spontaneous, like writing a story, just without the words.